Welcome back. So on the last episode, we finished filing the uh, jimping here on the spine. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, center punch and drill the holes in the tang. Okay, so I tried drilling the pinholes in the tank, but uh, it just wasn't happening. The seal is too hard and uh, the drill bits aren't making it through. So what I'm going to try to do is throw it in the forge and anneal it, which will hopefully uh, soften up the steel enough for me to be able to drill the holes. Alright, so the knife is sitting in a bucket of vermiculite, which is super insulative. It's going to help the knife cool down over the course of several hours or so. Hopefully it's going to be soft enough for us to be able to drill a hole. Okay, so the tang holes are all drilled. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is go into the heat treat. I'm going to be doing three normalizing cycles and uh, that's going to be followed by the quench. So I've got the knife fully heat treated. It's tempered down to a nice deep straw color, which will help give it some extra strength. You can even see a little bit of the Damascus pattern coming through. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, grind in the bevels.
Okay, so I've got one side of the bevel done, ground to about 120. Uh, however, that's going to be it for this episode because I'm almost out of space on my memory card. But before we go, I'm thinking I want to do a test etch to see how that pattern looks. So the thing about etching Damascus at such a high grit, or such a low grit, sorry, is that um, you never get to see too much detail in the pattern. But like I said, this is at 120, so hopefully we'll get to uh, see something come through. Okay, so the Damascus is super faint, but you can really clearly see that nickel. Which I think is just incredible. I'm super happy with the way this pattern came out.